Israel, friends of ours, a democracy, but still only 8 million people. And here we have Iran with a population 10 times bigger. If we have to choose between the two, and the President of the United States seems to think that we do have to, for whatever lip service and friendly general posture of alliance we have toward Israel, he's just cut a deal with Iran over Israel's bitter objection, isn't it only sensible to cut the deal with Iran? Here's the question. Why should Israel matter to us out of proportion to its population and size? It's a dinky little country, Jim. Why does it really matter? Values matter in this world. We were, all of us, born here by accident. We live here by choice. But we have an obligation to turn these values, these freedoms we've enjoyed, over to the next generation. And the idea that freedom is a natural state is not borne out in history. You're going to have to defend freedom. And you don't defend freedom by waiting until it's arrived on our shores. FDR can tell you the penalty for that from Pearl Harbor as we watch the fascists flatten France and, and bombing England and all, and we stayed on the outside for a long time. Like-minded nations that stand for liberal values, they're going to have to band together and protect each other. And if you want a friend when you're in trouble, then you're going to have to be a friend to them when they're in trouble.